folks, this is Kevin here again. Today I'm starting from the Ulas ski lift part and um, if I do a quick turn, this is where you buy your ski passes and you can rent skis. And then behind me is the station where the gondolas go and take you to the top of Ulas so you can ski downhill. Um, obviously there's no snow at the moment, so this is definitely off season. And uh, yeah, the place is practically a ghost town. There are still a few tourists here, both for hiking, uh, because it's Ruska Aika still, and also the hill is popular with mountain bikers who like to get the gondolas or the lifts to the top of the hill and then mountain bike all the way down again. Personally, I think they're mad, but hey, you know, what are floats about? Our hike starts at the ski lifts for ascending steeply through forested area and climbing to the highest point along the trail between Ulas and Keskis and Lucky. After this, I descend into the valley and have a break at the wooden kota. After this, I climb out of the valley again and pass through a narrow stony gorge before scourging around the back of Keskis and Lucky, stopping at a waterfall along the way, and then finally rejoining the path and tracing my way back to the ski lift center. Currently it's about plus two degrees, uh, but there is quite a chilly wind blowing, so uh, I'm going to have to set a quite a good pace just to uh, just to stay warm. But uh, yeah, so far so good. The sun's shining, and so the uh, views from the top should be rather nice. Okay, so I finally made it to above the tree line, and. Uh, that's the vista below me, far flat land with lakes and some peaks in the distance. shoulder between Ulas and immediately behind me is uh, Keske Lucky. The plan is to go down the valley, drop quite down quite far. And this shorter rounded hill is Kelostopoli. I will go in front of it and in between there's a gorge and bring me out on the far side. The view up here is absolutely fantastic and despite the cold wind it's definitely worth the effort. So I've dropped down into the valley on the other side of the hill and I'm about to enter the tree line again and uh, yeah it's a lot more sheltered here so there's practically no wind at all which is lovely it makes it seem an awful lot warmer I'm not sure what the wind chill factor was up on top but uh, yeah it was quite considerable Feeling a bit tired after yesterday's hike, and so I thought about taking a day off today. I'm glad I didn't. The sunshine and the blue skies make it all worthwhile. Here we are in the at the Varkan Kuru Kota. It has uh, dry toilets, wood supply, and the kota itself is where you can cook food and get warm. I really like this place. It always reminds me of R Riverwood from Skyrim whenever I pass through. After resting and the initial climb to the high point of the trail, I can feel in the backs of my legs now that I'm starting to climb again. Whew. Oh, well, onwards and upwards. Ahead of me, you can see that trail goes down into a V between two hills. This is the Kelostopoli Guru or Kelostopoli Gorge. And uh, I've skied through this in winter. 
um, coming in the opposite direction and you ski up the gorge and then ski basically along this plateau and then down into the valley where the where the koto was and on and uh, yeah it's a wonderful ski route in winter but uh, the initial climb up through this gorge or gully is yeah it's strenuous very soon i'm going to pass into the shadow behind this hill on my right and i'll be in shadow as i go down through the actual gully or gorge itself with the wind and the shade it's going to get probably quite cool in there let's see And we are out, back in the sun. Yay. I didn't spend too much time taking pictures in there because it was quite cold and the wind was blowing through quite hard. Okay, finally back to the car. Yeah. Altogether 12 and a half kilometers. And uh, yeah, fantastic, fantastic hike. Really enjoyed it. A little bit on the cold side, but by keeping moving, I was able to stay stay warm enough and be fairly comfortable. Uh, my gear held up very well. Boots are fantastic. My feet are still feeling good. No sore spots. I mean, I'm tired, but, uh, and my feet, I can feel I've been doing some hiking. Lapland looks so much, so much different when the sun shines. It really brings the color and the landscape and everything. Everything sort of pops. It looks wonderful. I hope you enjoyed today's adventure. And uh, if you like, leave a like and a comment down below. I'd very much appreciate it. And um, yeah, with a bit of luck, I'll catch you on the next trail. So this is Kevin signing off. Moi moi.